Yeah, we are. I suppose it's good recognition for the CFA and uh, all the volunteers involved, and um, hopefully we can bring this cup back to uh, the Westpac Centre. Well, it's a big one. The team's uh, going along nicely ahead of September. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, they're, they're going to be a big challenge this week. Um, so we're looking forward to testing ourselves again before finals, and um, hopefully we hold up well. Not much, I suppose, oh, in terms of what we got out of it. We uh, come back very relaxed, um, you know, looking forward to, to our assault on the finals campaign. And um, I suppose we just got away and really refreshed. It was uh, a bit like ghost town down there, so it was very good for all the players. Yeah, but most of it was just a chance to get away from Melbourne and the little bit of hype that's uh, bobbed up with all the Collingwood supporters starting to go a bit bonkers. Uh, an advantage for you that Adelaide have decided to go into the match without their best rebounding defender, Nathan Bock? Um, yeah, I suppose uh, it was a good thing for us that uh, he's not going to be out there. Obviously, he's a, he's a really good player for their side, and, um, but it, it gives another player for them an opportunity to step up and, and prove himself. So, um, Look, we, we can only plan for who's going to be out there, so we're, we're looking forward to the game. Do you sympathise? He's got a bit of criticism from some fans, and I think Brett Burton as well, uh, for... Uh, box situation for deciding to go to the new, to a new club? I suppose you can't understand uh, what situation he's put in and um, I suppose if you're in those circumstances it would be pretty hard to, to decide what you want to do and obviously Nathan's decided what's best for himself and um, you know I suppose you can't argue with, with a player at, at 27 years of age to, to go up to Gold Coast and, and start fresh. What about the, the Pies, your approach the last couple of weeks? Do you feel like you guys are killing time to an extent? Data. Yeah. Sorry, mate, I was just getting ready to get out of here. What was that one? What about you guys? You, do you feel like you're almost killing time to an extent before the, the, the main stuff rolls around? No, not at all. Um, another big challenge this week against a quality opposition, and for us it is a one-week proposition, the old cliche, but you know, this week gives us another chance to refine our systems and structures and against a, a good opposition. I think we've still got plenty of room for improvement, um, so hopefully we haven't peaked, and hopefully there's a lot of good footy ahead of us. Did you take much notice of the Bulldogs' result last week, considering you're likely to face them in the first week of the finals? No, I didn't catch a lot of that game. Um, obviously, though, they were pretty crooks throughout the week with half their list in bed, so I don't know how much you can read into that result. What are your thoughts, Scott? Um, I'm not, I suppose I'm not really concerned with um, I suppose Swanee's chances. I don't think he would be either. Um, you know, he's a very relaxed fella, and uh, I don't think any of that stuff will bother uh, the, way that, uh, the way he goes about his football for the rest of the year. Um, so in terms of uh, I suppose all the stuff that gets written in the paper, I don't think he would read too much into that. Obviously, it'd be nice if he does win it, but I don't think uh, he'll be focusing on that. He'd have to be a great chance, though, you think? Uh, according to the paper, he's uh, already won it. His, his year this year, compared to his previous few, how have you rated that? Um, I think for the last three or four years, he's been probably the most consistent player in the game. So this year is just another example of how consistent he is. And, um, you know, he gets tagged most weeks and uh, opposition clubs know what he's going to do, but he somehow every week manages to still do it, so he's, uh, he's a super player. Does he deserve to win one? Um, yeah, most definitely. <laughs>